We have been sent a vibration massage device from Rothy. This is the RM10, and at the time of making the video, this costs round about £50. And I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check her out. So we're going to have a quick look around the box, and then we're going to do the unboxing. So it says up to 3,200 revs per minute max. Hopefully, you won't need it that fast. 45 decibel super quiet. 4 to 12 hours long life and 3 levels three levels and 4 massage heads. Mm, very interesting. I've never used one of these before so it would be interesting to see what it does and how well it works. So with that I'll get out of the box and then we'll carry on talking about it. Right, first things first, it comes in a really nice little case, and that is quite solid. It's got a nice bit of padding actually, yeah, that is really nice. Instructions, I'm guessing, so yeah, user manual, quick start guide, probably read that one actually. And the gun itself, oh, it's quite heavy, it's a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be, that is, that is quite heavy. It looks quite vicious, doesn't it? I wonder if you've got to hold it in. But you have. <laughs> right, very interesting. So it comes with a USB, so it's a USB to type C connection. I'll have a quick measure up. I'm gonna have a quick open up and give you a rough idea. It's about a metre long, maybe just over. That's a quick measure up. So I'm guessing they just push in like that. Yeah. Turn on. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Could actually show the wife this. Oh, that is really easy to use. Perhaps I don't need to read instructions. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Let's try this one. Right, first impressions, I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't know what this does. It looks like a wishbone. <laughs> yeah, definitely looks like a wishbone, doesn't it? That one that one feels quite sharp on the end. Not sharp, you know, a bit pointy, I'll probably say. What's it say? Don't stick your hand in front of it, oh my god. <laughs> Do not touch this area. When the device is running without massage head installed. Ah, right, okay. So right, it was installed, so I'm pretty safe. And last one. Okay. I quite like that one. I think that's my favourite at the moment. But, like I said, I haven't read the instructions. Let's have a quick look around the actual device itself. So USB Type-C connection for charging it up. I will charge it up because it probably needs a proper charge. And then we're going to give it a proper test. So with that, I will be back. Right, there's a couple of things I want to go through before we start going through how to use this and what it does and things like that. And the first one is you need to give it a six-hour charge. I read the instructions and it says for the first charge, it needs six hours. So I've done the six hour charge, so it's all ready to go. The second thing is, it's eight days later since that bit I just showed you there, I said I'll be back. It's eight days later now. So I've had it for eight days, and the reason for that is because I wanted to do some research so that you don't have to, so that you can just watch this video and get a better understanding. I'm not gonna show you how to use every part because there's one bit, <laughs> even some of the other people don't even know what it actually does. But I will go through it all and I will show you how it works and what you should be using it on. Also the manual. The manual is, to me, very nicely laid out. Like I said, I did have a look through it and it shows you all the different parts of the body you can use it on. And tells you also how long you can use it on that part of the body. And I'll give you an example. Uh, biceps. It says here, bi biceps. 
20 to 30 seconds three times. So you 20 to 30 seconds, yeah, you hold it on that part of the body and you do it three times. So you do it 20, whatever, 30, and then you take it off and then you do it again, same sort of thing, 20 or 30, take it off and again. And then you don't do it no more for that day. That's the way I understand it. And also, you do not use it on your bones. So you do not use it from the neck up. So you don't use it on your head because it's dangerous. Do not use it on your spine. And it says do not use it on any bones. So it's only designed for loose flesh or muscle. Yeah? That's all it's designed for. So uh, with that, shall we get on with it? One more thing to bear in mind, I did actually use this on myself, I have been playing about it, I thought well, I need to understand how it works, and yeah, it's a, it's a quite different, quite nice actually, and I've also used it on the wife as well, because she has osteoporosis, and she was in some pain, I thought it might help. Whether it helped or not, we don't know yet, because you, know, you need a few weeks of using something like this, so uh, yeah only time will tell so with that let's get on with it shall we so I found this one to be the best this little ball here I found this one to be perfect for most things so I prefer to use this but you can use the others they all work well the only exception is is probably this yeah you have to do it so that there's a line on there so it has to line up to the top otherwise it doesn't work properly or with the bottom there's a line at the bottom and a line there as well and then that's that's in position so to turn it on you just hold the button in and away she goes now I found for me personally and for my wife that speed 2 or speed 3 work best it was gentler I know it sounds weird but it was The other thing to bear in mind, this is a safety feature, like I said, make sure you read the instructions. Do not stick your finger in there and turn it on, because it'll probably break it. Seriously. Do not do that. So anyway, this is my favourite, this little baby here, and like I said, you just push it in, that's all you do. And then you turn it on. And you can use it, you know, like I said, I prefer it like that. Speed 2, that is. Or on your legs, want to do your legs. So you just hold it there for 20 or 30 seconds or whatever it says in the manual. That's all you need to do. Doesn't hurt. If you think it's going to hurt, it doesn't. But don't put it on the bones, alright? Oh, it's been carried away. <laughs> do that, do it on the muscle. It's not noisy, but it's not quiet, if that makes sense. So it's not you know too noisy it's quite uh it's quite quiet but it's not dead quiet <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway so with that i'm going to tell you what i think about it. like i said i did do some research and the research shows that a lot of um sports people will use something like this to heal quicker apparently it's really good for helping whatever part you've injured or whatever part you have pain in this will help to heal quicker that's what they're saying, and I have no reason to disbelieve them. There's a lot of people out there saying the same thing. Obviously, you might be better off just going to see a doctor or a physiotherapist, someone like that, or even an osteopath, depending on what your problems are. Yeah, but if you've got minor problems and you just want a quick fix, and you've got one of these handy, yeah, you could use this. So this has three speeds. It does take six hours to charge up, so you know it doesn't take too long for the first charge. And then I'm not sure how long a 
it lasts for because it seems to last forever. But like I said, don't stick your fingers in the hole. And they all work really easy. These, this one and this one are my favourite. Well, that one is my favourite. This one's my second favourite. This one's okay. It's ideal if you want to get in just into a little point, you know, somewhere. Just get in there a bit deeper. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on neither. Just, just rest it on there, basically, and let it do its business. Quickly show. So that's speed one again. See that? Weird. And two. Like a jackhammer. And then back off again. Easy to use this little thing. On and off. So I wasn't too sure about this, but it doesn't hurt. I'm going to quickly show you this one, which I think they call it the wishbone or something like that. Or is that what I call it? The fork. <laughs> it might be the fork. <laughs> like I said, I'm not too sure about that one. I haven't seen anyone actually use that one. Not even on YouTube. I've seen them use all the others. But the videos that I've been watching, they haven't been using that. And one of them, who's got quite a lot of followers, said, I still don't know what it's for, basically. <laughs> so uh, with that, what do I think? Nicely made, good quality, easy to use, and quite easy to understand the instructions, which I thought was really nice. Uh, yeah, it gets my thumbs up. Only time will tell if it's any good. I haven't got any... Uh, problem with muscles or anything like that at the moment but like I said my wife has osteoporosis so I have used it on her but she is a bit nervous about having it used on her because of her, her condition as you might understand so yeah very nice it does work extremely well and yeah give more thumbs up let me know in the comments whether it gets your thumbs up then I'll say it again let me know in the comments what you think whether it's going to get your thumbs up or not so with that if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, baby. Can't help saying it.